Hey guys, today me and Andrew are going to be trying two mixes from Trader Joe's. Um, I have the olive and herbs mixed nuts, which were $4.99. And I'm nuts about rosemary from Trader Joe's. And those were $6.99, so mine were cheaper. Um, but it might be smaller too. So this one is a 10 ounce package. What's yours? 12. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger. So anyway, we're gonna do the olive and herbs uh, mixed nuts first. This is a festive mix of seasoned and roasted almonds, cashews, pecans, and olives, which is surprising to me. Um, a fourth of a cup, there's about nine servings in the bag, it's 170 calories. We need a can open. Does it really need a... Oh. Camera lady. I'm joking. Oh, I thought she was, I thought was telling the truth. Forget it, we don't need it. I thought you pulled that off, that's literally what it looks like. No. That was a good joke. You pulled me. I was like, yeah, I need a can. Oh God. When? When are those? Is those this, are like literally all. Yeah. We're gonna try a little bit of everything. Olive, cashew, uh, is there three nuts? There's, there's, there's four, four things. What's the fourth thing I'm missing? Pecans. Where's the pecan at? Right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little one. I'm a big pecan guy. Mm. Love the flavor immediately. The time you get the olive. The garlic. Hmm? You get the olives for sure. No, oh, the olive just adds. Gosh, that's a little funky for me. I'm not a big olive guy. You like those? But it's black olives that are like dried. I'm not a fan of that. That's good. Yeah. And I'm not a big olive guy. I love olives, but those, no. Nah, I, I can crush olives. this freaking mix. Oh, I forgot my olive. I can crush that mix. That is so good. It's good quality. The flavors for me is just a little. I like funky stuff. It's a little funky for me. Now, the olives are. I mean, if you like black olives, I think you'll love that. But I eat seaweed. Yeah. Now that's too funky. Right? Um, the olives really, if they didn't have the olives in there, it would fall short. Yeah, the, uh, the nuts themselves really don't have a lot of flavor. But, I mean, it's got a lot of that basil, thyme, you know, that's yeah, like if, you, just, if you drug it through like, like that garden bed of seasoning, that's what you got. But the... Sea salt, I don't really yeah, get all salt either. Yeah, yeah. I called every one of those out, basil, thyme, sage, yeah. all that stuff. You Sugar. Know, I didn't say sage, but it's there. It's one of those little greens. It's okay. But the olives kick it up a notch. Yeah. I didn't think they would, but it did. That's. I thought I'd really like that in the olives. I'm taking it home. The olives ruin it for me. So this is nuts about rosemary. Uh, this is the nuts, the rosemary, the crunch, the flavor. It's all in this can. Slightly salty, subtly sweet, subtly, subtly, subtly. I can never say that word. Subtly, subtly. subtly. It's subtly, but it doesn't look like it has Sub that many. Subtly, teeth. subtly. A uh, sweet mix of almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, and pecans. Mm. And rosemary is going to be the main popping flavor in here. Um, 180 calories for one fourth of a cup. Here. Thank you. So, and if you've watched this channel for a while, you know I just absolutely love rosemary. Now, what I've learned with these is you got to kind of rock it at first, or you'll pull so, the tail. You'll pull the tail. see, it still rips. But... All right, I'll put the wall up. Now, don't get any smells off this. I thought it was really funny on their can because it says, it points to each nut, and it says cashew, pecan, almond, hazelnut, and another almond. Because they wanted to mark the one that didn't have the skin on it. <laughs> so how many other? No, uh, there's, oh, there's four. I got, no, there's five. Well, there's two kinds of almonds. You should have an almond, an almond, whatever the hell that is. Hazelnut. Okay. Hustle news. And then pecan. they have pecan, yes, that guy. Here we go. Oh. Down the hatch. I like the texture of that one better. It's crunchier. Mm -hmm. It has more salt too. It does. You know, I was worried about the rosemary really like being like in your face, take over. Rosemary's good. I mean, it's there for sure, but it's not as strong as I thought it would be. Those hazelnuts are really good. Do you eat a hazelnut? Mm -hmm. I like hazelnut. That's where the punch, the, that's where the crack came from. The the nuttiest flavor in there is the hazelnut. I think the hazelnut and the pecans really come through a lot for me. I think least. anytime you throw a cashew in your mouth, that, that's uh, going to be your overwhelming. Really? Cashew's nut. always been light for me. You know what would be really good? I think what those hazelnuts are strong. 
What is it? I like those. The cashew. I mean the pecan. It's a big one though. Yeah. We got the Ronaldo in there. Yeah. I think if you like, I um, mean, that, that all just flavor everything. destroys this. So you'd pick this. I'll hand it down. I'd pick this one. Um, because I like the saltiness, I like the crunch of the nuts, I like the flavoring. The rosemary's nice, it's a nice mix without being overpowering. I already Because like I it. tried that and all I did was throw an olive in the mix and it was like, ah! Yeah, the olives are pretty strong. Take you the like olives. olives. It's good. I think these are good mixes. Just pick whichever, whatever your flavor may be. You'd be um, happy with either one. Yeah, I think you'd be happy with either one because the quality is really, really good for both of them. Mm -hmm. Just know that the rosemary one is more expensive, but really on that, it's really good. So, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.